All right, we're hanging in Naples, Florida. Two caveats before we start anything. One, welcome Daniel Brandon. Hello. Hello. Two, it's buggy as hell. And three, we have a literal alligator sort of just perusing behind us. So if that ain't Florida for you, I don't know what it is. Uh, but Florida's pretty new to you, right? Yeah. Um, you were in Vegas before. Mm -hmm. And where were you before that? And before Vegas, I was in Sacramento, California. And that was uni? Yeah, that was where I went to school. So let's go one step back. Where were you born and where'd you grow up? I was born in Lewiston, Idaho. And then I grew up more in Washington, in Tri-Cities. Washington State? Or yeah, state. Okay. So it's like Eastern Washington. So explain this accent you have. The They're like accent. Southern. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it's like, I feel like everybody, when they go on their Instagram, it's like this role, you know, it's like this whole world that you're like living in. Okay. I, as, as <laughs> I would say like me anyways, right? Like, you know, as you're like developing this, like, what feels like this crazy whole other life yeah you know through instagram like people portray you and like see you as this one way and i don't know when i make videos it just comes out but then yeah. also like when i grew up in washington <laughs> we all talked like normal but then when i went like, to Cal like well like fabian would talk because i have a weird accent as well yeah like yeah. but when i went to california yeah like people thought i talked funny yeah from like being from Washington, like going to California. And then, and then I like developed like this, like Californian, like, I mean, most people when they meet me, they're like, yeah, you give like Cali vibes. Like you're from California. Right. Um, and then okay, I was in Vegas and it was like this, like mix of like Washington, California. So do people in Washington have an accent? I would I don't think so, but I no. think people think like other people think they do right. not necessarily like an accent, like, you know, like we just maybe like say things a little differently. That's right. If I had yeah. to guess, completely uneducated, if I just had to guess based on your, um, if we want to call it your social media alter ego, yes. I would have said like Georgia. Yeah. I've gotten like, people yeah. are like, I didn't know you were from the South. And yeah. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it was a shame because when I learned that you weren't, I was oh. like the likelihood that you will have like made us food to greet us with is like substantially oh, lower now, which is a shame. Okay. Next time. Next time. Uh, but you grew up, and did you grow up like mom, dad? Tell us, tell me about your family. No, I, d I don't have like a huge family involvement. Um, but like the people around me, like my friends, really close friends in high school, were kind of my family, and then followed my best friend to college. Okay. Um, did you live with her at some stage? Yeah, I did okay, in college. Sure. Yeah, I lived with her. Um, but in high school, who'd you live with? In high school, uh, my aunt, my aunt and uncle okay, sure. raised us. So. Sure. They raised us and then, I mean, like, I was all over the place, but, like, I was just really lucky to go to college. Glad I did that. Right. Got, got you know, like, everybody, like, says they got to get out of, like, their hometown. Yeah. It was kind of one of those places where, like, if you stayed there, you were, like, stuck there. Right, okay. So it was like, I need to leave. Yeah. And what's the population from your hometown? I could not tell you, but... Under 100,000? I would think, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, especially growing up there, there wasn't much. Like, we didn't have a Chipotle, like, Jamba Juice. Like, I don't know. <laughs> we didn't have, like, over, normal things. We've spent, we've spent the whole day together. And this is the third reference she is for Chipotle. One, it was, like, Chipotle is right beside your hotel. It's okay, fine. Yeah, okay. Two was in uh, Tennessee. Where, where's uh, that's the Mayhem? Old, yeah, that's the only. <laughs> where's Mayhem? In Cookville. Yeah, Cookville. Cookville, not much going on, but there is a Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> and now no you know, Chipotle. It makes sense that I find Chipotle so great because I didn't have it growing yeah. up. Yeah, fair we enough. We had like a, have you heard of Sherry's? No. So Sherry's had like, um, that was like our maybe only like 24, you know, 24 hour place. Like the Californians have like in and out Yeah. Um, like, so we didn't have that. We would go to Sherry's and they have pies and they have like pie milkshakes. So it was like whatever. A pie milkshake? Exactly. Okay, yeah. wow. Full on. Yeah. Right. But like Sherry's was our, was our place. So growing up, if you didn't, you grew up with your aunt, she didn't have yeah. a whole lot. How'd you get yeah. involved in sport in the first place? Um, I think it was something my grandparents just like wanted to put me in. Okay. Like they were like, you know, my brother, I, I have a brother too. He's a year younger. We're actually Irish twins. So we're like less than a year young apart. But, Is that what they call that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Irish Me and my twins. sister are. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you know Irish that? Irish twins. No, yeah. I'd never heard that term in my life. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Irish twins. Cool. Um, Shout out Cassie. 
Yeah, yeah. Wait, you have a t legit. Wow, you Irish guys are that twin. close. An Irish yeah. twin. There you go. Wow, Fantastic. how cool. And when, when were you born? What's your birthday? February seventh, ninety six. Okay. When you... So we're like four months apart. Oh, when did you? Yeah. When did your birthday? September twenty nine, ninety five. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're so also you're a Irish twins. Older. Yeah, yeah, we are. A little older. And yeah. time has been much worse to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> no. um, okay, so how'd you get involved in sport and what, what were the early sports you played? Mm, I really, like, I can't remember from, like, young, young. Like, I really don't remember those. Sure. Um, but from, like, third or fourth grade is when my grandparents decided to put me in gymnastics. Right. And so they, like, and then from then, like, that was the only sport I did. Like, I think I probably started it, and I, like, really enjoyed it, progressed, like, really fast. Yeah. Um, and then soon, by, like, fifth grade, was spending at least, like, four hours. And then, like, in middle school, was doing, like, two a days. Wow. So it was, like, it, like, no progressed, way. like, really fast. Jeez. Which so is, like, when I think If you take it. that, you're two days, and then... Well, we'll sort of bring in, you yeah. You got a, into track and field in high school. Yeah. You got a scholarship to Sac State. Yeah. And so literally since you were in fourth grade, you don't know anything but training for four hours a day. Yeah. Wow. Especially like, okay. especially like it was kind of like this first sport that I started. Yeah. And then just like went all in. Cause I feel like wow. most kids in middle school are doing like soccer season and then like yeah you know I, I don't even know football like doing multiple sports. yeah like football basketball track yeah. Like yeah and then i feel like you know you get to high school and like there's the clear one that you're like specializing in yeah but since gymnastics isn't like a school sport really like it's yeah. you know club and there's not a lot of opportunities to do it in school whereas like i feel like football baseball you have like your school team and then yeah. like your club team yeah of course um so gymnastics it was just like all in Wow, okay. From like third or fourth grade. That's hectic. I guess that's how yeah. girls get to like the Olympics at 15 and stuff. Yeah. You're like, and gymnastics. Yeah. And because I, had, I actually started so late, it was like, yo, we like, you like are progressing rapidly, but you also started late. So we have to like catch you up kind of thing. Right. You know? That's so crazy. You start yeah. late at like eight or nine years old. Yeah. <laughs> like Mental. I was like, my best Mental. friend had been doing it like since a freaking little tyke. Yeah. And yeah. that's like perfect age to start yeah crazy okay so we got the gymnastics yeah. and like as we've spoke today you basically like walk through every discipline crossfit is and you're like yeah i've done that at a state level i did that at college yeah. i did that all right so we got the gymnastics and then before you went to college you had uh, another sport you did diving and swimming yeah right yeah so i suppose it's actually funny because in where is this again remind me washington yeah washington's not a warm place right I was actually, this. I'm just coming to the realization now, like, yeah, Florida, you're a diver, fine. Right. How many people dive in Washington? You yeah, I would say, a number, but. like, <laughs> so I guess in high school, it was like we had our high school team. Yeah. Um, But then the club girls of, who like, did it outside of high school season would have to go, like, usually to a facility with an indoor, like, an indoor facility because yeah. like in washington in tri-cities we didn't have one yeah so like we're literally out there i think swim dive season started like i want to say i mean we were in october at least like out there diving right. and so you'd like get it and you like get out and you're like oh my god <laughs> that's like, so stupid oh, yeah wow yeah okay right but okay so we did diving swimming we did. we've done gymnastics then you went to college where you did pole vault but mm -hmm. originally that was 400 meters. Yeah, I was recruited for the 400. Right. Do you think, because you were recruited for 400, you told yeah. me about how that then, you sort of didn't have a place secured on the team, but they needed pole vaulters. Yeah. You were a bad high school pole vaulter, and they said, yeah. well, let's give it a try. Yeah. And you were on scholarship. Yeah. Do you think that you might have the title for, for worst pole vaulter on scholarship at the beginning? Oh, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I came in, and like, I would say, and like, I mean, I wasn't like, that invested in pole vault yeah. but i think like to even be considered to be recruited for like a d1 school uh -huh. you had to have at least pole vaulted like 12 feet okay and like i had not pole vaulted 12 feet what had you pole vaulted i want it less than 12 feet but, but i think like <laughs> uh i don't even know if it was 11 feet wow like i maybe like 11 11 six or something right. and i like maybe had like the high school like my high school's record which is like 
there's four people who have ever pole vaulted. Yeah, like it wasn't great. Like okay. we were, yeah. But, you, I mean, you still thrive doing that. Yeah, and so you, you end up getting to what I finessed. height? I finessed a scholarship. Yeah, yeah. But you got to what <laughs> height with pole vault? Um, like close to 14 feet. Wow. Yeah, okay, like in to. my college career. Yeah. Heck yeah. So right, so. Most improved. Yeah, yeah, which is good. And 14 <laughs> feet, what would like Olympic standard be? Uh, Like 16 to 18. Okay. So like that, but like that was very possible for me. Yeah, you did that after a couple of years. Yeah. So you've gone pro in CrossFit. Yeah. You reckon you could have gone pro in diving? I think so. Yeah. Do you reckon you could have gone pro in swimming? Swimming, I don't know. I would have had to like dedicate a twenty-four-seven time to that. Okay. Like that's tough sport. But definitely pole vault. Yeah, I think diving. So we have three vault. sports that you like could have picked and choose. Yeah. What you, you got into college in your sophomore year, yeah? And a CrossFit? Yeah. Yeah. And what was the, what was the big draw for that one to be it? Because yeah. at the time, yeah. what, this would have been five, six years ago? In like 2015? Like eight years ago. Yeah. Right. Yeah. At the time, it wouldn't have been uh, what it is today, where people can look at people like you and go like, this is a legitimate full-time professional career. Right. It would have been like just sort of a thing. Oh, yeah. So why I was mean... that a pull when you could have gone like Olympic pole vault? Right. I think like a pole vault because I just like was not passionate about it because it is like this very like monotonous thing. Yeah. Right. Like and doing like gymnastics and swimming and diving. It was really fun with like this workout aspect of like getting more fit. Right. With swimming. Like, you know, we would do like weights and running and you're aerobically getting more fit. And pole vault just felt like I was like showing up and doing like dainty running drills and like (laughs) Like, you know what I mean? Like, just on trying to do, team. like, the same thing, like, <laughs> On the track the team, time. I, I think, I've never been a yeah. part of one, but if I'm thinking, like, just visualizing things, yes. I don't think the pole vultures would get a lot of respect. Oh, that's so fucked. Is that true? Uh, <laughs> I don't think respect is the right word, but I think you kind of, like, look at the pole vaulters, and they're just, like, this, like, miscellaneous, like, okay. weird-looking crew. When I say respect, like, not like they don't respect what you do. Yeah. Or, like, if you if you said to a 100-meter track athlete, Absolutely. you said, list all the athletes yeah. on the team. Oh, yeah. Like, the pole yeah. vaulters would be like, oh, yes. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That <laughs> is accurate. Yeah, okay. Even, right. like, <laughs> you know, yeah, you'd think of pole vault, and you're like, what the fuck do they even do? Yeah. Like, oh, they just run with this. It's, like, a really hard sport to respect until you know about it. Yeah. Like, and that would always be the worst things of, like, at comps. It'd be like, oh, how'd you do? And you're like, well, I jumped this. But, like, this and this and that were amazing, right? Yeah. Like, your step was on. Like, you're, like, <laughs> like there's just so many technical yeah. things to it. Yeah. But it's really hard to, like, put it all together. Of course. Like, of course. it's, it's like, one, it's literally one of the hardest sports I've ever done. Right. It's just, just it's the, the precision hard. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like to be that consistent every single run. Yeah. You know, like you start at one spot, you have to take off at a certain spot. Yeah. Ideally, like yeah. there's an ideal spot to take off of like when you're literally putting Is that the, the same for everyone? Um, it's just like relative, like your height, the, w- okay. the length of the pole you're using. Sure. Um, wait, what? Yeah. Like it's like, you can use a different height oh, of yeah. pole. Like 13 foot pole, 14 foot pole. Why don't you just get a 16 no. foot pole and just have that? Cause it? that shit is because like yeah. right like the longer it is the farther out you have to be right just like simple yeah like, angles right yeah. the farther out you have to be which is like much scarier right like you're like yeah, having to stick this thing more. in and you're like you feel much farther from the pit yeah and you have to like jump harder run mm. fast like but at the olympics be at the olympics it's because i've always wondered this actually yeah it's almost a game of who can use the longest pole no well uh-huh. It's not. No. No, it's so different. Like, okay. I was able to, like, get on bigger poles. Yeah. Because I'm, right, like, you look at me and you you would never think I'm, like, a pole vaulter. Like, pole vaulters are usually, like, I'm not sure I'd look at like, anyone. Tall... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But they're yeah. usually, like, much more slender. Okay. Like, much more lean. Not to say I'm not lean, but, like, you know, I'm, like, like my sticks. legs are, like, bigger. Would it be, like, like a high jumper almost? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Sure. Um and so I was, like, much more powerful and aggressive. Right. So I could get on, like, bigger poles. And my technique was, like, average. Whereas then you have, like, this tiny girl who's, like, speedy. But, like, her technique is, like, unreal. So she's yeah. on, like, a much smaller pole. Oh, and but, like, get, like, can use, like, like yeah, yeah, like, okay. can use, like, the full length of the pole. Right. Like, there's just so much to it. It's yeah. crazy. All right. But I, I don't think in my life I ever would have talked about pole up for that long. That's incredible. Yeah. 
So cool. Me either. Um, it's almost like, I, I almost think of it like a deadlift. Like someone who doesn't know what's going on is like, you yeah. just pick it up, of course. Exactly. But you're like, 20 different things have to go right. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so, okay, we yeah. found CrossFit. Now, your first games was in 21 or no, 20? 2019. 2019? Yeah. Did you miss one in between? No. No. Oh, right. You're into... Fifth... I'm, this is my fifth year. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, wow. So... 2015 to 2019, you were a four-year process to get to the games. How many times did you try before you actually got there? Um, so in 2015, 15, 16, 17. I think I made regionals like 16, 17, 18. Okay. So this is when they had the regionals format. Are you familiar with that? So it was like you did the open, top whatever in the open would then make it to regionals. And then regionals would be like, there's a California regional. Um, I honestly can't even tell you the other regionals. Cause it's like quarterfinals, basically? Quarterfinals, but like it was an in-person comp. Okay, cool. And then it would be like our semifinals. Oh, wow. So it's that like was straight to the games. And then straight to the games. Wow. And it okay. would be like, I, I want to say they did it also kind of based on like the difficulty of your, of your regional. So mm -hmm. like California would get like three spots and then like another regional would get like two. Or something okay. like that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Or like five, so, you know. Um, and then straight to the games. So you were three times doing that. So I three times qualified to regionals, uh -huh. like through the open, and then could never go because it was the same weekend as NCAAs for track and field in college. Oh, wow. You qualified yeah. for the open every time? Every time. So like my first year, what I got unit? like ninth in California. Like in, I want to say 20, 16, 17, and like 16. Like I like so did the open. Been, you could have been at the CrossFit yeah. Games eight in like times 2016. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Consistent. Yeah. Legend. I guess and that I had pays to like off. turn it down. Wow. And then. Do you ever think like what what could it have been? Oh yeah. All, All right. Well, let's minutes. just say let's just pretend. Let's not yeah. dwell on that. Three times you could have gone. You, you had to go to NCAA. Yeah. You had to pull. I'd be like on the pole vault. I hope no pole vaulters are watching. This. <laughs> it's just shredding. I'd be like Shitting pole vaulting, pole and I'd be on. like, man, I could be at the CrossFit Games right now. <laughs> I'd <laughs> be like hitting pole, like ready to Actually, go. Actually, like, yes. Yeah, that are you? Was me. Yeah, okay. Fuck yeah. Oh my gosh. So, um, your first games were that you went to. Yeah. What What did you place? Do you remember? What was that experience like? So, that was in 2019, was the year they invited, like, I think there was like over 100 girls. Oh, wow. Because they got invites from, like, the open, and then they had these, like, ra random sanctional events, and then they invited a person from every um oh, what do they call it like national i don't even know like like everyone from asia africa like every single fucking place oh, wow. like everybody got an invite if you okay. won incredible yeah it was right. crazy right but it'd be like you know from some random ass country and yeah. it's like, like they like yeah. couldn't even do like a muscle up but they like got invited to the games yeah. because they were like the best CrossFitter. Like a random Asian country, in, African country. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so there was like over a wow. hundred of us. Incredible. Um, and then that was the first year they introduced like cuts. So like right. after the first event, they cut like half the field. And this is my <laughs> okay. first year and I'm like, I have no You're idea so how I'm brutal. gonna do. I'm yeah. like, what if I get cut? Yeah. Um, ended up making it to like the last cut or like the second to last cut. So I got 11th and they took like the top 10 to the like the last events wow. and I got 11th. And so, like, oh, wow. I mean, at the time, I was, like, stoked, right? Because I'm, like, fuck yeah. Like, this is my first year at the games. Like, yeah. I got 11. Uh -huh. And then it comes out, like, a month or two later that one of their girls who got in the top 10 um, oh. tested positive for steroids. And I was, like, damn, I could have been in, in the top 10. Right. And potentially placed higher. So, first games you went to, you came 11th. And bittersweet, girl tested positive for steroids. Right. Could have been top 10. Uh, but 11th first year, then you go into the next year, and now you're obviously expecting something of yourself. Right. What was your second year at the games? Well, second year was COVID. Did not. So then it, like, happened, but it was online. Okay. Let's so they, like, did an did online not. comp. It, like, did not happen. And okay. then the top five qualified to, like, this in-person thing at, like, the CrossFit Ranch, at Dave right. Castro's Ranch, and whatever. That's a wash. But I think I, I don't Pretty know. much. You got, like, top 15. Yeah. And it's then online. you went, and two years ago, you came 10th. And then 2021, yes. Last year you came fourth. Yeah. This is sort of building it's, into... It's showing yeah, progression. Like you actually haven't had a period of time where you've gone backwards at all. Yeah. So now like... That's... I didn't realize that, yeah. It's almost like fourth is the bar. Yeah. Like, any yeah. worse than fourth. 
we're going to cut this off here. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, it's getting dark. The gate is getting close. So we're going we're gonna to head over inside. And we're going to go meet Cash, the schnauzer. Love the schnauzer.